Hello everyone, this is Joel over at ImportSauce.com and today we wanted to give you a product overview including installation of the Elevate Volvo Performance Ignition Coils for the 3.0 liter turbo and the 3.2 uh, non-turbo 6 cylinder. Stick around. So today we are taking a closer look at the Elevate uh, Performance Ignition Coils. This application, as we see uh, the part number here, is going to go uh, specifically related to, let's scroll down here, we can see uh, a lot of the, the different models that this is going to apply to, but specifically the 3.0 uh, inline 6 as well as the uh, 3.2 uh, inline 6. So this is going to care, uh, cover uh, various models. The XC uh, family, which is going to include the 60, the 70, the 90, as well as the S family, 60, 80. And for all those uh, of you driving uh, the V series, the 60 and the 70 as well. So this product does cover a wide range. Specifically, we got it for our uh, XC60 uh, T6. So the first thing we want to point out is we've uh, done these coil uh, ignition coils as well on our S40 um, and uh, did a full uh, overview as well. So this is actually going to be our second batch, but we just wanted to make sure that we covered it for all of you driving those model cars as well. Um, so what these are are a direct replacement for the factory ignition coil. And uh, I've owned, I mean, we're talking 10, 15 years now. So uh, half the time you're getting a uh, an error code or a check engine. A lot of times it, it's something as simple as the ignition coils, especially if you get a uh, error on a specific cylinder and you just replace one. It's only a matter of time before maybe a couple weeks or a month or two, and, and then they start all failing. Uh, so... In many cases, replacing these is going to clear up any misfire uh, issues that you may have. Um, so you're probably familiar with uh, replacing these already. One thing I like to point out is that the uh, the price on these, right? So these are performance coils. We're going to look at the performance down here in, uh, as we scroll down the page. But uh, these are at $59 a piece, right? So when you're ordering it, you need to make sure to get the appropriate amount that you're adding to the cart there. But uh, what I'd like to point out, and I did on the other video as well, $59 for a performance ignition coil. Um, and if you uh, did the same exact uh, direct replacement part number from Volvo, you're talking $99. So you're talking a difference of $40 uh, times six. Um, which is, uh, you know, a little, a little more than, or, or almost half, half the price, you know, a little bit more. Um, but you're getting something, uh, that's built for performance. So these are especially great. If you have a tune or you have some other parts on there, you're going to be replacing them and doing your, uh, your 30, 60, 90,000 mile service. Uh, these are a great way to get, uh, more bang for your buck and also just save some money overall. So some of the features that they point out here are going to be, uh, as we saw, the direct replacement there. That's easy. Uh, increased spark energy and dwell compared to stock coils. We'll see uh, down below on the page they have some more information. Uh, and, and just real quick, in, in case you couldn't see it up there, uh, to start off your search or, or do some research, elevatecars.com is where you're going to find this. And then once you get there, you can browse uh, specifically into your model. Um, and if you don't see it here, just go ahead and click and you'll see all of the uh, available options there, which will land you over here. Um, so same thing, uh, some more uh, performance, which is going to be uh, just just allowing this component to maximize the performance um, and mileage uh, that you're getting out of this particular component or part number. Um, and also uh, one year uh, warranty, unlimited mileage. So, uh, you know, you purchase these things up from Volvo and you get a dud right out of the box. Uh, take it back. You're going to have a real hard time uh, trying to get your money back or getting a replacement here. But here we have, uh, as it states, unlimited mileage on there. Um, so uh, you can go down and uh, kind of some of the things we already talked about, the specific vehicles that it goes for. We saw that down below on the list. 
Um, and, uh, just it breaks down kind of uh, the development process of it, right? So they've, uh, looked at other, uh, ignition coils, uh, from several other manufacturers. And we've all kind of seen that there are some other ones out there that do brand themselves as performance. Um, but with those, um, they may only deliver more spark, but, um, you know, that, that's not the only thing that we need to be looking at here or, or that Elevate looked at when they were doing their, uh, extensive research and development on this. Um, you know, a bigger spark as they found is just going to increase the, uh, the temperatures inside those chambers. And we all know that heat is going to be the number one enemy to our Volvo engines. So, uh, they developed, uh, what they found to be, uh, the right balance, which is going to be both for performance. Um, but without, uh, just, you know, throwing, throwing spark at that thing. Um, so, so that's really important. And with anything else elevate, and if you've seen some of the other videos, you know that, uh, you know, in terms of their, their product, their development, the, the, the unboxings that we get, everything is just top notch there. Um, so one of the reasons it looks like that they started to look at these and look at some different options is, um, a lot of customers will install some of their, uh, other things, especially the custom tune or the software. And then they start getting, uh, misfire codes. Um, and, and they are determined to be just, uh, old ignition coils, um, or just not, uh, you know, being able to keep up with the new, uh, maps that are on there. Um, so, uh, as we know, as I mentioned, 30, 60, uh, 90,000 miles, um, if you're reaching one of those increments or you're starting to get misfire codes now, it is a good time to start thinking about these or getting these ordered up on deck. Um, so, and, and if you are, uh, any of these symptoms, right? So, um, misfiring or just, you know, sputtering, just, you know, that feel. Um, and as mentioned, we're going to see later in the installation portion, absolutely plug and play these things. Uh, you pop out the stock one and these ones go right back in. Um, we did this very, very quickly with, uh, just very simple, simple tools. Uh, as we uh, talked about above, these are individual units. Uh, if you are, okay, well, one went out. I just want to, you know, get one. You, maybe you don't have the money to get all of them right now. Um, you, you definitely can. And up here, when you're adding to cart, you just pick the quantity. But uh, as I'd mentioned, if one's going out, the other ones are probably not too far behind. So Elevate also uh, recommends. It says, hey, uh, just go ahead and knock all those out at the same time. Um, so, uh, again, check your application and, uh, down below, they do have the quick fitment guide, but if you do have a bookmark on Volvo's, uh, online parts store, uh, just as I had shown you, you just pop the part number in and then down here, what it fits and it will show you 68 specific models, which is probably going to be a lot of the different variants on there. And there we see, we see all the specific years. Um, but, uh, also looks like here it is pretty much covered as well. So you can cross reference and just confirm that you are good to go. Uh, and then just a quick comparison chart. So we have the, uh, the actual current between, um, a, a brand new factory one and the elevate as well as the secondary load on there. Uh, the discharge time of it, we do see that there was an increase, uh, there as well. And, uh, the energy that's, uh, actually being output there too. So we can see in all of those comparison items that the Elevate truly is a, uh, performance upgrade or a performance coil as they, uh, as they specifically call it to be. So what we're going to do is we are going to hop out, uh, and get under the hood of the XC60, the T6, and we'll show you, uh, kind of what these look like and, um, you know, how easy they are to install. So stick around and and uh, let's go check it out. Okay, so out in the garage, we did order, as mentioned, a quantity of six. This is the 3.0 inline six liter. So we do need six of these guys. We get it, open up, nicely bubble wrapped and secured. Initially taking a look at this thing, really solid. It has good weight, it's not flimsy. All the rubber on there is very nice. Everything is just a solid construction, what you would expect from Elevate. Let's go ahead and take a close look. We're going to pan over and you can just see the quality that is put into these products. It, it just 
really feels like something uh, that, that we want to put on the vehicle that's probably going to be definitely a better replacement than the factory one that we could have bought as well. So, also in there included, as always, very detailed installation instructions. So let's go ahead and hop over to the installation. Uh, so with anything Elevate, as mentioned, the instructions come very detailed. They have color pictures, a list of all the tools that we're going to need, as well as step-by-step -step instructions. So with these, it's always good to read through them a couple times, kind of look at what you're doing, familiarize yourself with what's going on. It's going to save you time in the long run. Essentially, uh, eight millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter is going to be to uh, disconnect the battery on this particular model, the XC60. You can open up the battery cover is going to be right here. You'll get your 10 millimeter. You can disconnect that. That way you're not going to have any live power or mess anything up when these things are getting unplugged and plugged back in. And then from there, we're going to take our eight millimeter. Uh, that's going to be used for the actual ground wires on the uh, coil packs. Uh, just glossing over the instructions because you're going to get your own. But essentially we took off the cover. It just snaps right off. Uh, we took uh, compressed air from the compressor and we blew all, all the debris off of the top. That way when we're opening up, we're pulling the plugs out, um, the coil packs, we're going to put new plugs in as well. These are going to be Volvo spec as recommended by Elevate. So don't go to your local parts store, get the Volvo ones. You can order them uh, at your dealer, ibdusa.com. And then uh, at that point, we, we blew with compressed air. We got all this gunk out of here. We're going to uh, make sure that the battery terminal is disconnected, and then we're going to go one by one. We don't want to risk mixing and matching and getting any of the wires crossed. So we'll do one at a time. We're going to disconnect the eight millimeter. We're going to pull it up. We're going to make sure inspect while we're in there. Um, if you're not doing the plugs, then essentially you're going to pull that up. It does come with a dielectric grease and it tells you where to put that, but we're going to make sure everything's lubed up. So when it goes back in, it's, uh, it's not only secure, but it's not going to get, uh, you know, stuck or gunked up or fry anything. Uh, so that'll come out. We'll put the new one in, we'll plug it, and then we'll resecure it with the eight millimeter on there. And then we'll go on down the line to the other five. So what we'll do is we're going to show you one. We'll do a close up so that you can see exactly how easy putting these things in is. Okay. So we have the battery disconnected. Uh, what we're going to do is just start off. Uh, following the Elevate instructions, we're going to unplug the electrical connector just to press on the tab here and it should slide right out. We'll just kind of keep that guy out of the way. Next, we have our eight millimeter suited up. We're going to come here and then we're going to remove the single eight millimeter bolt. Pull this up, get it out of the way and let's keep it somewhere where it's not going to drift off. At that point, we are going to pull and uh, they're meant to be nice and secure, pretty much airtight. So oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad, right? Pull that up. Just kind of do an inspection on the old one. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks like that's a hard plastic. We compare it. Look at that. So the size, everything is beautiful. Um, I think this guy is going to go in. No issue. Everything just looks like it's a direct replacement, as it states, as we would expect, nothing less from Elevate. Um, we're going to use the one ounce pack of the dielectric grease that was included. Let me go ahead and just uh, grease up the boot, put a little bit of uh, grease down inside there, and then simply we're going to push this guy back in nice and easy. Make sure that it gets a nice connection, goes in, and Beautiful. Okay, so that's got a nice firm connection and we will get our eight millimeter back on there. We're going to hand thread it, of course, because we do not want righty tidy to become righty loosey. And let's go ahead and that will kind of put some pressure on here just so that it uh, goes back down nice and evenly. It's not cranking to one side or the other. And that whole thing is going in nice, nice and secure there. And then lastly, we're just gonna pop the new guy back on and we are done. Um, from there, we're just gonna go down the list, do the other five there, uh, and then we'll be ready to go. Again, if you're doing this, and, and you might as well, if you're already going that, that far, 
uh, do do the the spark plugs as well. Um, and as Elevate recommends, a Volvo spec only. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall this is a pretty quick. Quick and easy job. If you are switching out your coil packs, you might as well just get these guys. Um, when we saw the side by side, you could just tell that um, you know Volvo's pretty solid in what they make, but the Elevate product is is just that much more uh, above and beyond.